Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question by popular demand. How do I use the C100 Mark I to shoot slow motion? I'm going to demonstrate that process for you in my computer and also, in addition to that, I'm going to show you how I upscale the footage to 4K so effectively you are getting 4K 60 frames a second slow motion out of your Canon C100 Mark I. But before I do that guys, please do subscribe to the channel. I absolutely love making these videos for you guys and it would mean a lot if you would show some love and subscribe to the channel. But in order for this to work, you do need to shoot at 60 interlaced and of course your shutter speed needs to be double that uh, which would be 1 over 120, 125 that area. or 180 degrees if you use degrees which I prefer because you never have to change it alright guys to make this even easier I have created a PDF download that you can download and it is a step-by-step -step guide on how to shoot in slow motion on your Canon C100 Mark 1 so go down in the description download that and follow along now let's go to the computer and convert our footage of course you want to import your footage onto a local space whether that be your computer or a hard drive um, but then you're going to open media encoder bring your original 1920 by 1080 c100 footage into media encoder just drag all the clips inside of the program okay now you're going to click the blue highlighted hyperlink under the word preset you'll see it right here once this window is open change your format to quicktime movie change your preset to apple prores 422 Lite. this is the codec that i decided to go with due to file size and quality i was trying to strike a, a happy medium there scroll down to the video tab and change 1920 by 1080 to 3840 by 2160 that's going to give you that 4k resolution change your frame rate to 59.94 now this next part is very important you're going to want to change your field order to progressive that's going to convert it basically from that interlaced writing up and down to a progressive frame rate where it's just a pit, one picture after another. Now choose your export destination and export your footage. Inside of Encoder, if you just highlight all of your clips and do this, it will apply it to all clips. Now you can bring this footage into any non-linear editor that you may be using and treat it just like you would any normal 60 frames per second footage whether that be in Adobe where you're going to interpolate the footage or in something like Final Cut where you're going to use you know, their, their time warping tool. I hope that this video helped you out and I hope that you're having a lot of fun really pushing your gear to get the absolute most that you can out of it. That's something that I love about the times that we live in. There are a lot of cameras out there that are very affordable that you can get and you can really make some beautiful images. If you found this information helpful or useful, please do subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me and I will see you in the next video.